If you're watching this video, you're probably just like myself and you want to know how to be successful. You have this desire within you to become successful, to have the car of your dreams, the girl you want, the body that you want, the amount of money, the house. You want everything, right? The idea that you have, the dream that's in your mind, you want to actually manifest it and bring it to life. You want to bring it to fruition. Okay, I'm with you, all right? We on the same page, but... You got to know principles, right? You have to have pillars in your life, stable foundations so that you can achieve that success. Talk is cheap, so fuck what people say. When I was 12, a crazy lady told me lead the way. I shed a tear because it was real. Swore to never stray. Now, now every second is a classic when nothing lasts. Got to take a moment and appreciate the fact that this world is turning faster and faster. And when she felt the real, it's hard to tolerate the plastic. What's up, winners? My name's Abdul, and I'm here to help you develop your life man now look in this video i want to really give you guys the only principle to actually achieve success and sustainable success all right like i was saying previously in order to achieve success you need to have foundations you need to have pillars okay without pillars you will not be able to actually reach the high high ceiling right you, you won't actually be able to achieve your dreams because your foundation is fucked up OK, so that's why in school, if you're if you're, you know, what I'm saying learning about something, they're going to teach you the history about it first. Right. They're going to teach you the person who thought of it and then what the other person did to iterate the process. And then what happened from there? If your history, if your foundation is bogus, it's not good. You won't have the proper understanding to build off of. And therefore, you're not going to be able to actually make sustainable progress. So I want to help break things down for you so that you can achieve success. OK, without further ado, let's dive in. So. Look, man, the first thing is first, you need to have principles to live by. You're like, there's a moral code for character, right? You enjoy great characters in movies because they live by a certain code of ethics, right? Warriors do this. People do this, right? For example, Captain America, right? He's like the symbol of American culture. Oh, he's a strong, buff guy. He'll sacrifice everything to do the right thing, right? He doesn't lie. He doesn't cheat. He's a very honest person. He's just an exemplary fucking example and definition of America, right? He's a moral code. He literally lives by a certain set of ethics, a certain code, and that's what makes him such a good fucking character in the movie, okay? You have to live by a certain set of things as well, right? You can't just be like, ah, whatever, I just do whatever, whenever. If I feel a certain way, I'll just do it whenever, whenever, however, whatever, right? You can't just be so easily swayed. My father has this set of, he, he lives by a set of code. Right. It doesn't matter what fucking day it is. That guy will sleep at 5 p.m. Right. That's his thing. 4 or 5 p.m. The guy's going to bed. Right. He wakes up two, three, four. I don't know when exactly, but he wakes up early as shit and sleeps early as shit. No matter what you say to him, he's not going to go out of his way to go do this thing with you. It doesn't matter who you are. Right. If you don't plan ahead, he's not doing it with you. So my dad he lives by the same code. He has a thing that he lives by. Right. And if you don't have that for yourself. Right. It's like anybody can move you any which way. You have no foundation, right? AKA you have no balls. So as a man, you need to have a set of code to live by. Now, th there's the same thing for success. Success is the same code, right? Like if you do these things and this is the code that you live by, success is a natural outcome. You have to realize that there, there's a lot of people in this world who thinks that people just have a lot of money for no reason. No, right? They have a code that they live by. There's a process that you don't see, that people don't tell you, right? Like the people who have a shit ton of money, there is something that they do so that you can see these nice ass cars, the house, the money, the girl, the body. There is so much behind the scenes that you don't see. And you think that things just come out of nowhere. This is what fucks with me. Things don't come out of nowhere. People have certain lifestyles, right? They'll get up at four in the morning, five in the morning. They'll eat a certain way. They'll talk a certain way. They'll live a certain way. They spend their money a certain way, right? There's a process that people follow to actually live the life of their dreams, folks. Things just don't happen out the blue, out the wazoo. So this creates a false narrative, a false expectation within your mind. And then you think, oh shit, why don't I have to live the life? Why, why, why can't I live the life of my dreams? Well, that's because you, buddy, have the wrong expectation. People in social media will post these pictures and you'll think, boom, that's their entire life. No, that's a snapshot. That's a picture. 
And if you haven't seen my video about how social media is, is literally just ruining your fucking life, I'm going to put it up here here. So go ahead and check that out. But you have to understand that there's a process and people make continuous daily sacrifices so that they can live their life. That's the thing that the rich do. They understand this concept, this one concept extremely well. Time and consistency. It's this one simple economic concept, right? So there was this economist who was studying the difference between poor nations and rich nations, right? He was like, why are poor people poor? Or why are even poor nations poor, right? And he eventually got to this idea of time and consistency. What poor people will do on a day-to-day -day basis is they will sacrifice how their future self will feel for their current gratification, right? You might've heard of instant gratification and delayed gratification, but this is essentially describing how the way you currently feel is not how you will feel in the future, right? Have you ever had a, a super depressing moment, right? Like you just felt so bad and then 10 minutes later, you don't feel bad anymore, but you make decisions about how you feel now, not recognizing that 10 minutes from now, you won't feel the same way, right? You could be really, really mad at your brother and get in a big ass fight. I used to do this all the time in my childhood. Me and my brothers would fight and then I'd run to my room and then I'd lay in bed. And then 10 minutes later, I'm not mad anymore, right? So I'm like, oh, I don't care anymore. So the way that I felt then is not the way that I felt later. So if I told my brother, oh, I hate you, blah, 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 blah. And 10 minutes later, I don't feel that. Well, those actions just affected me 10 minutes later. It's the same thing with procrastination. A lot of people procrastinate because they think the way they feel now is the way that they'll feel later, but it's not. Later, you're like, fuck, I'm so behind. I haven't done anything. And you feel extremely stressed and anxiety. But if you recognize that, damn, the way I feel now is not the way I feel later. I want to feel good later. What can I do now to make, make sure that I feel good later? Right. And if you can really use this principle to base your decisions off of, well, then you're not going to make bad decisions. Right. And then you can actually you can realize that there is an inconsistency in time. Right. In the way you feel within time. And if you can begin to understand, watch this, watch this. I really I didn't understand this for the longest time. Right. But I figured I, I, I ran into this concept intuitively. So I'd wake up in the morning and I'd be like, fuck. I feel bad. I don't want to get out of bed. I'm tired, blah, 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 right? And so let's say it's like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m., whatever. It doesn't really matter what the time is. But I wake up, my alarm goes off, and I'm like, fuck, I'm so tired, right? The days I get out of bed, even though I'm tired within the moment, right, 20 minutes later, I'm like, shit, I feel good as fuck. But then at that time when I was getting out of bed, I didn't feel good. But 20 minutes later, I felt fucking great, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? 20 minutes later, I felt like shit. Now I feel really fucking good, right? And so when you make the decision at the times you feel like shit and you're like, damn, I feel better 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, 300 days later, you feel the outcome of the decisions you made 300 days ago. You're like, damn, I feel good as fuck. Time and consistency. Rich people understand this. Poor people don't. Poor people will say, man, I feel like shit, ah, they don't realize that 20 minutes from now, that feeling could be completely gone. What they'll do is they'll make decisions to make themselves feel better right then and there. You feel what I'm saying? Don't do that, right? If you can fully understand this principle, apply it to your life. Literally, think about it. Damn, when do I feel really, really bad? And then that same feeling is no longer there, maybe a day later. And then you're like, damn, so what decisions do I make when I feel bad? I make decisions that try to cheer me up in that moment. But then 20, day, 20 minutes later, or 10 days later, or 20 minutes or 10 minutes or five minutes or even the next minute, I don't feel that same thing. What am I really setting myself up for, right? You're training yourself differently here, right? So now you realize that you probably save even money because a lot of people will be like, man, I feel bad. Let me go buy something. I feel bad. Let me go get some food, right? They'll eat a bunch of bad shit. Trust me, I've been there, right? And so when you can make these decisions differently, now that you realize that, damn, this is just a temporary thing and it's going to go away, you'll be able to make better decisions, right? I really, really hope this helps. But another way that this is really powerful is when you realize that the, the things you do now when you don't feel good or when you don't have a lot of something will pay off in the future. 
For example, when I was making a shit ton of videos, literally every day when I had 10 subscribers, I, would, I never thought I'd get here, right? I obviously always dreamed about the fact that I could get to 100 subscribers, 200 subscribers, 300 subscribers, four, five, six, whatever, eventually get to 100K, right? I'm obviously not at 100K, but that's where I'm putting myself, right? And I'm making all this stuff now knowing that then it will pay off, right? As long as I continue to do it, eventually it's going to pay off. And so the time and consistency, right? The way I feel now is not the way I feel later. When I have 100K subscribers, I won't feel however hard it may be now, right? Because then I'll be like, damn, I did it. I have fucking 100K, right? I'm a boss. I make great ass YouTube videos. And so what rich people will do is they'll take that future self, right? That future, beautiful, rich, whatever self, and they'll bring it to the current, right? And that's time and consistency. Time is just, it's, it, it's really a variable that doesn't matter right? You look into the future like, damn, how would I feel if I already had that thing? How would I act if I already had that thing? Well, I'll be excited to make videos because I have an audience to literally teach and help. That's how I feel now. I'm here trying to help you grow now, right? I'm not going to be like, damn, it's hard. Nobody likes my YouTube videos. That's not going to, that's not going to motivate me to make videos by any means necessary, right? Time and consistency. I'm gonna jump into the future. I'm gonna bring that version here and I'm gonna make videos like I fucking own this shit, okay? And that's the same thing. If you wanna make money, well look, how would you invest your money in the future? Well shit, I would make sure that I know where the fuck I'm putting my money, all right? I'd know how much money, I'd know, I'd track my shit. I'd know exactly what I'm doing with my money when and how, right? I'm making smart ass fucking decisions with my money because that's what the rich person would do, right? I would feel good about my money. I'd know that I'd always have money coming. I would never worry about where money is coming because I'm a boss ass dude who knows that he is rich, right? Don't wait for that feeling until you get there. Time and consistency, right? Feel that feeling now. Don't make decisions right now just because you feel bad to then try to appease that current feeling so that you can feel better. No, know that that feeling will naturally go away when you just start living your fucking life, okay? Don't put things on hold because you currently feel bad. There's so many days where I felt bad, but I still made a video, right? There's so many days where I was tired, I caught that, but I still made the fucking video, okay? Don't wait until then to make that, right? Rich people, don't wait. Poor people will say, ooh, I don't feel good. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna start again tomorrow. Fuck that, why, right? And then you expect yourself to actually follow through on that. What's going to change between now and later, right? The same decision you make now is the same decision you'll make later, right? Time and consistency. You expect your future self to make a different decision than your current self. How? If you said, no, I'm going to put it off and I'm going to do it tomorrow. How do you know you'll do it tomorrow? You won't. You won't do it tomorrow. Okay. So stop expecting yourself to do it tomorrow and just fucking do it today. Why are you putting it off? It makes no sense. Just go and do it today. All right. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I genuinely hope this fucking video helped you. If you can fully realize that this is the only principle that matters. Now, look, I'm not just telling you to just do it, right? Just do it. No. If you actually feel bad and you're actually sick and tired and you're actually burnt out, well, then stop putting off rest, right? You have to realize that this right here isn't just like some dumb template that you just put on something. You're just like, yep, do it over and over and over again. No. You're a human. You have a brain. You can think. It's one of the most beautiful things about humans. They can actually think for themselves. Use this information in the way that it best suits your life and your needs. You got to realize it, right? Your circumstances are unique to you. Don't do something incredibly dumb just because you heard somebody else say it. Think about it. Experiment with it. See if it's actually real and then make decisions, okay? Don't just take my words and be like, ha, ha, ha. Abdul said it. He must be smart. He, he, he knows what he's talking about. Don't believe me. Never believe me. Do your own thing. All right. Figure it out for yourself. Okay. That's my last thing I want to tell you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you actually enjoyed this video. I love you guys. I appreciate you, man. And as always, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.